really sure how to start it though. Ba 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 milk webs. I think that pedophilia is something that is associated very often, very commonly, uh, with CGL as a general whole. I think that as soon as CGL gets brought up to people who don't understand CGL, I think it becomes immediately a jump to pedophilia. And I want to talk to you guys about that, but I don't want it to be the kind of conversation that we normally have about it. I know that, generally speaking, when pedophilia gets brought up, it becomes this very, like, brick wall that people hit where everybody's just like, it's not pedophilia. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Um, and so I want to have like a real conversation with you guys. I want to actually talk to you guys about why CGL is not pedophilia. And I hope I do this community justice. <laughs> so in order to talk about pedophilia and its complete separation from CGL, um, we just talk about pedophilia. So let's talk about what pedophilia is, first of all. Um, pedophilia is a psychiatric disorder in which an adult is attracted to a child, a prepubescent child specifically. Um, the cutoff for pedophilia is 13 years old, so people who are attracted to 13 or younger uh, human beings. And once you get older than 13, there's different words for it, uh, different psychiatric disorders. Specifically, a febophilia, which is um, an attraction, an adult being attracted to somebody between the ages of eight, 15 to 19. So, I think that the most important thing for people in CGL is to arm themselves with the knowledge that this lifestyle just innately looks very strange to people who do not understand it. And I know I've said this in probably a couple videos, but if you try to put yourselves in the shoes of somebody who does not understand this lifestyle, I think it is very, very, very understandable why the immediate reaction is anger or panic. Um, I'm not naive, and I don't want you guys to be either. I don't want you to be ignorant. I don't want you guys to blindly believe that everybody should understand this because that's not the case. The lifestyle is innately <laughs> strange, but strange doesn't mean wrong, and strange doesn't mean pedophilia. If you are somebody who watches this video uh, who doesn't understand CGL or does think that it is associated to pedophilia, I want you to understand that I hear you. Um, I see what you mean, but let's talk about why that's not the case. So yes, we can go by standard definition of a very literal this can't be pedophilia because the people who partake in CGL are not children. That is 100% true, and technically that is where we could end this conversation. They're adults. Uh, people who practice CGL are adults, and nowhere in the definition of pedophilia does it say that people are attracted to childlike things or people acting childish. It says they are attracted to children, prepubescent children specifically, in a very literal sense. That is technically where we could end the conversation, but I, I don't want to do that because I think that that is where we always end the conversation. I think that there's a lot more to be said. I am somebody who has sex in my little space, and I've said this a lot of times, but I will say it again for the sake of saying it to you. Um, the people that I have sex with in my little space aren't attracted to me because I'm being childish or because I have a childlike mindset in the time that we're having sex. They are people that are attracted to me because I'm a human being, I'm an adult, who they would have sex with regardless of my headspace. I think that's important to hit on. I think that these are people who are having sex because they are attracted to each other. The headspace is a secondary part of the sex. Like, the attraction to a person is much further than their headspace or the way that they're dressed or the way that they're playing with toys or coloring or whatever it is. The attraction is not at the way that they're behaving. It is at the person. I also think that another problem we run into when we immediately jump to pedophilia when we're talking about two adults is that we are very, very much um, lightening the load of what pedophilia means. I think that what we're doing when we do that is we are taking the power out of the word pedophilia. And I think that's harmful for a lot of reasons. And if you if you would like me to relate this to other examples, 
um, I would say another really common example of something that we can all relate to is the word rape. I think that especially like when I was a kid, people joked about rape a lot. Like it was just something that people yelled or joked about and just, I think that the word rape lost its power and it lost the powerful connotations that that word should hold. And I think that that's what's happening with pedophilia when we just immediately have no issues whatsoever jumping to the word pedophilia, even when talking about two adults having consensual sex. It is something that should be taken seriously. And when we jump to pedophilia for two consenting adults having a sexual relationship or having even not a sexual relationship, having any relationship whatsoever, because we don't like the way that someone is dressed or the way somebody is playing or the way somebody looks or the way somebody's acting, we are not taking it seriously. But I also think it's harmful because they're not pedophiles and you're just now spreading misconception about what pedophilia is. It, it's not fair to the people in CGL, but even if you can't care about those people, I would hope you care about the people who are affected by pedophilia. I would hope that you care about the children that pedophiles actually are attracted to. And when we take weight off of the word pedophilia, we're taking weight off of their stories. We're taking weight off of the severity of the trauma that they have experienced. We are taking weight off of their lives. We're taking weight off of so many children's stories because we don't like an adult relationship. And that is so unfair. This flippant comparison between an adult consenting relationship and the attraction to prepubescent children is unjust and it is harmful to so many people. And I hope that even if you are somebody who doesn't like CGL, who doesn't think that it's healthy or doesn't think that it's okay, that you can stop comparing pedophilia to consensual adult relationships, if not for the CGL community, for the countless people affected by true and honest pedophilia. This lifestyle isn't something you have to understand, but if you're going to be somebody who advocates against pedophilia, which I am all for, I think that you should do that. I think you should do it correctly. I think that you should do it in a positive way. Then you need to start focusing on true pedophilia. You need to start focusing on helping people in the actual pit of that. That is all. Uh, I love you guys. Good luck. And be kind to one another. I won't be sad, but in case I'll go there every day to make myself.